This is a uh, small post-war home in the east end of Hamilton, Ontario. It has experienced uh, sewer backup in the past and we at ICLR are retrofitting this house to prevent it from happening again in the future. Some of the things that we'll be looking at uh, are the sewer laterals, uh, whether this home requires a sump pump or not, uh, and things of that nature. Some of the work that we will be doing is installing a back water valve, uh, disconnecting the downspouts from the combined sewer system, which is a big problem in many urban areas in Canada. Uh, among other things as well. Over the next few minutes we'll be showing you uh, what to look for uh, to prevent sewer backup from happening in your home and some of the simple measures that you can take to prevent it from happening to you. This is a common problem in older homes. It's where the sewers are combined. The sanitary and the storm sewer run in together. As you can see here the downspout is connected into the sanitary sewer so in a heavy rainfall event we have the potential of overloading the system with too much water. This causes water to back up in the basement. We will be disconnecting this downspout, running it over to the other side of the house where there's vegetation, and conveying water away from the home rather than towards it. This is the pit where the back of water valve is being put. Now this is the front of the home, closest to the city uh, sewer lateral that goes out into the main sewage system. This is the ideal spot for a backflow valve. Okay, well we're digging a hole here. We're going to be installing a backflow preventer due to the uh, septic line sewage line running back in the house. Now, <clears throat> the backflow preventer stops all sewage lines coming back into your uh, house with a flap. The flap actually stops from the pressure of the water coming back in. Now, the way it works is, is we put it on a slope so that on an angle so that the water flow from the house, from the toilet line, the sink line, the shower line, all run at a slight angle to go out to the city. Now what we're doing here is taking the concrete out to remove and then we're going to dig down about three and a half feet to the pipe which is clay pipe. It's an older home. It was installed in about the 50s. So we're going to take out the clay pipe and put in this back of venter with uh, PVC uh, connections and fern coves. And then from there we're going to tighten it, make sure it's got a nice fall to it. Then we're going to backfill as well as uh, concrete the floor. But in the, the Institute for Catastrophic Loss Reduction has issued a handbook for reducing basement flooding. There are 20 flood reduction options in the handbook, including 1. Talk to your municipal government about basement flooding. 2. Inform your municipal government about basement flooding that you've experienced. 3. Hire a licensed plumber to conduct a detailed plumbing investigation on your home. 4. Check your insurance policy or talk to your insurance broker or insurance provider about basement flood coverage. 5. Avoid pouring fats, oils, and grease down household drains. 6. Keep storm sewer grates clear. 7. Seal cracks in foundation walls and basement floors. 8. Considerations for overland flood entry points. 9. Reduce home water use during heavy rainfall events. 10. Maintain eaves troughs and downspouts. 11. Avoid storing items directly on the basement floor. 12. Downspout disconnection, extension, and splash pads. 13. Lot grading, backfilling, and swales. 14. Weeping tiles, sump pits, and sump pumps. 15. Mainline, normally open backwater valves. 16. Maintain sewer laterals. 17. Severance of storm sewer laterals. 18. Considerations for reverse slope driveways. 19 window wells and window well covers. 20. Avoid remodeling or finishing basements. This handbook also provides some background information and descriptions of municipal sewer and stormwater management issues that have led to basement flooding problems. It is our hope at ICLR that this handbook will provide useful guidance to any homeowner who would like to reduce their chances of having basement flooding. This booklet can be downloaded in PDF format at www.iclr.org.